Rogue. Scoundrel. Fool. Jedi. Jedi Killer. Jacques. All these things are names used to describe Adden Rand. But who is Adden Rand? Well, let's find out in this episode of Uncovering Star Wars Lore. Hello, to my Potter Ones. I'm your Jedi Master. Today, in this episode of Uncovering Star Wars Lore, we are talking about Atten Rand from the popular video game Star Wars Knights of the Republic 2 The Sith Lords. So, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Atten Rand is a human male born on the homeworld of Alderaan in 3983 BBY. It is unknown whenever he died, however. During his early life, he was a pilot nicknamed Jacques, and he fought in the Mandalorian Wars, as well as the Jedi Civil War. He originally served the Republic, but of course, whenever Revan defeated the Mandalorians and assumed the mantle of Dark Lord of the Sith, he defected to his side, along with a great number of Republic forces and Jedi that had served in the war. During the Jedi Civil War, Atten was part of an elite special forces unit trained to hide their presence and thoughts from force users like the Jedi. They were also sent on special missions to kill, capture, and convert Jedi. During this time, he learned the Chani combat methods, how to hide, and how to keep Jedi out of his mind. He seemed to have a natural talent for masking his presence and his superiors recognized his passion for wanting to make the Jedi suffer in any way possible. However, close to the end of the war, Atten was eventually confronted by a female Jedi who informed him that he was force sensitive, warning him that the Sith will undoubtedly turn him into a dark Jedi if they found out. He believed her since he had heard rumors of disappearances of those who were found to be force sensitive. But he hated the Jedi so much. In retaliation, he captured her and almost tortured her to death. When he thought she was just about to die, she awakened the force within him and allowed him to see life for the first time through the force. In response, he killed her. He killed her because he loved her. As a result of him being awakened and being pained with the self-loathing, he deserted the Sith and went into hiding until the end of the Jedi Civil War. After fleeing the Sith, Atten hid in the refugee sector of Nar Shaddaa, blending in with the thousands of refugees who had been displaced by both wars. During this time, he became a smuggler and in the year 3951 BBY, he made his way to the Paragus Mining Facility. He was taken into custody by Paragus Station Security for security violation and imprisoned within a force cage. Ironically, this would be what ended up saving his life. After being imprisoned, the mining droids and ventilation system became corrupted and the facility was wiped of all life while Atten remained safe within his force cage. So the events of what I'm about to talk about actually take place during Star Wars Knights of the Republic 2, The Sith Lords. I will be going through it in great detail. However, if you would like to watch a playthrough, I do have a playthrough up. I will link it down in the description box below so that you can enjoy it. After Mitra Surik had awakened from her coma, Atten was discovered by Mitra, and after a brief introduction, was rescued. Mitra himself and Kreia, another Force sensitive who had been brought to Paragus with Mitra, had agreed to work together until they could escape. He attempted to help Mitra as she searched for a way to reach the Ebon Hawk. However, as they were about to escape, the Harbinger, bearing Sith Lord Darth Sion, docked at the station. Thanks to Kray providing a distraction in which she ended up losing her hand to Darth Sion, Mitra and Adden were able to escape and reach the Ebon Hawk. Kray managed to board the Ebon Hawk prior to leaving the facility. However, during their escape, 
the Harbinger's weapons started firing upon them. They ended up having to dodge it, which ended up starting a chain reaction that destroyed the fuel-laden asteroid field and the mining facility due to a massive explosion. As a result, they fled Telos 4. They ended up getting held in another force cage, much to Adam's annoyance, and after defeating a exchange member who was attempting to either assassinate or capture Mitra, they were given free roam of the station as they had been cleared of any crime. However, during this, they found that the Ebon Hawk had been stolen. So, they ended up assisting the Athorians and managing to traverse Telos' surface using a transport that the Thorians provided. Once they crash landed on Telos' ravaged surface, they met the mechanic Beodur. And after fighting their way to another transport, they tracked the thief of the Ebon Hawk to the polar region of Telos. However, once again, they were shot down and ended up crash landing on the polar region, where they were once again imprisoned by the Jedi Master, Atris, who was also a Jedi historian, calling herself the last of the Jedi. Yet again, Atten was put into a force cage, much to his disgust. During their imprisonment, Kreia managed to probe Atten's mind and discover his true past. She used this knowledge and blackmailed him in order to stay with Mitra. However, because he did not want Mitra to think less of him or who he was, he begged to not tell her. And continued to help Mitra as they traversed the galaxy and continued to look for the remaining Jedi Masters so she could discover why she was truly banished and why she had lost her connection to the Force. Of course, they traveled to several planets on this quest, such as Nar Shaddaa. Due to his knowledge of Nar Shaddaa, Mitra frequently consulted him while they were there. And due to Mitra slowly proving her loyalty to Atten as a friend, his attraction to her grew. However, during this time, she challenged his views of the Jedi Council, the Jedi, and the Jedi Code, showing that they were not all arrogant and they did not all ignore the weak. While in Arsha, Mitra was approached by two Twi'leks who told her that they had known Atten from when he was first hiding there and that he was not a smuggler, but a murderer. She confronted Atten about this and while angry, he revealed the truth and she forgave him for what he had done and welcomed him to stay with her. Due to him telling her about his past, he requested to feel the force and awaken once again. It was here that she trained him to become a Jedi Sentinel, and it was in this moment that he had discovered that he loved her. During their trip to Dantooine, they discovered a man named Meikle, also known as the Disciple, who had once been a hopeful, looking for apprenticeship from Mitra. He joined in her search, however Atten was very jealous, believing him to be the competition for Mitra's affection. Mitra, however, continued to treat them both in a friendly manner despite the differences. After landing on Malachor V, and Mitra has made her way to Kreia in order to fight in the last battle of Malachor V. Atten runs into Sion, where he must test his own power and his loyalty in order to defeat him. And he ends up winning, joining Mitra after Darth Treya has been defeated, and asks where they're going, as the two leave Malachor V behind them forever. Alternatively, with the restored content mod, if Adden does lose against Darth Sion, he's severely tortured, mutilated, before being left for dead. And after being left for dead, Mitra finds him and stays until his last moments. And he pours his heart out to Mitra, finally confessing his love before dying in her arms. And of course, is a very interesting character, and one that deserves a lot of sympathy. As he has had a hard life, and... Due to the nature of what ended up happening to him, twisted his own world views. However, that is his story. And this is where we ended off. I'm going to go ahead and end that episode off there. I know this is not what you guys were expecting. Atten's a little bit of a red, a little bit of red herring uh, because he is lesser known. He doesn't have a lot of history uh, behind him. So this is going to be, you know, this was meant to restart the entire Uncovering Stars lore. These will start being posted monthly from here on in. 
but I'll go ahead and end that one there. So I want to thank you guys for watching. And if you did enjoy it, please give it a big like. It does help out a lot. Tell for today about my stars channel because it's pretty awesome. And may the force be with you. Always. Always.